Have you ever wondered what it would be like to live as the richest of the rich? To enjoy unbridled luxury without limits? What would you splurge billions on if money was no concern? For the billionaire tycoons and royal families that call Dubai and the Middle East home, owning outrageously lavish super yachts worth hundreds of millions comes naturally. They construct these insanely customized floating mansions, packed with every imaginable amenity to flaunt their fortunes and satiate their desire for the finest in life. Right now, you are fortunate enough to get an exclusive tour of the 14 most insanely magnificent billion-dollar luxury yachts parked at Dubai's coveted Mina Rashid Marina. They took my breath away with their sheer scale and extravagance. Are you ready to embark on this voyage and glimpse this lifestyle of the mega-wealthy? Trust me, it will be an eye-opener. 14. Dubai As the visionary leader behind Dubai's explosive growth into a global luxury destination, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum commissioned the construction of a 161-foot state yacht in 2008 dubbed the Dubai to honor his crowning city achievement. Born into a prominent family known as Sheikh Mo by admirers, the young royal grew up understanding the intricate balancing between welcoming outside influences driving development while retaining core Emirati values values and Islamic faith binding citizens. This philosophy clearly manifested even when building his personal Dubai mega yacht. We took inspiration from traditional regional Dow ships that carried our pearl trading ancestors on long voyages, yet integrated very latest navigation and entertainment systems since contemporary prosperity allows enjoying fruits of technical progress without losing connection with cultural roots, commented lead UAE designer Alia Mohammed. The extensive hand-carved wooden wheelhouse feels both luxurious yet familiar for a descendant of a merchant dynasty whose forefathers navigated these same gulf waters for centuries. Yet hidden inside lie advanced, gyroscopically stabilized radar suites, guiding journeys 50 miles out into the Arabian Sea at 17 knot pace matching speeds of early 20th century destroyer warships. For living quarters, skilled Yemeni craftsmen were commissioned to fabricate vibrant handwoven silk fabrics, adorning the six plush VIP suites, showcasing intricate regional patterns passed down generations. We incorporated complex embroidery designs, emulating spice soup markets, which attracted traders, inspired Dubai's original 1833 Creek settlement, and aligned perfectly with the owner's family legacy, explains senior interiors supervisor Darwish bin Rashid. After intense days spent reviewing UAE development plans, plans on his ultra-modern Apple iMac suite work desk made from recycled aluminium, Sheikh Mo's personal executive chef awakens to produce customized multi-course feasts interpreting regional specialties or exotic foreign flavors skillfully profiled during conversations to each visiting dignitary's home culture as per legendary Arab hospitality norms ingrained since childhood into this visionary 71-year-old leader. As crimson gold dusk descends blanketing the yacht with pieces peaceful silence only punctuated by lapping waves, honored state visitors accompany their royal host up the winding stairs onto the upper open observation deck to witness awe-inspiring annual Perseids meteor showers using advanced Swiss stabilized binoculars while continuing animated conversations delving into nuances between globalization and heritage. 13. Serene In 2007, Russian vodka tycoon Yuri Scheffler sought the leading northern Italian Fincantieri Super Yacht design team and German Alaho craftsman to construct his dream nautical headquarters for ruling his SPI Group's global spirits empire day-to-day -day operations afloat in utmost style. No expense was spared realizing his elaborate vision over four long years exceeding Euro 330 plus million dollars. We pioneered aggressive elegant lines matching the power and pedigree of my premium ultra-luxury vodka portfolio demanded by highly influential patrons worldwide, including Hollywood celebrities and royalty. I desired an avant-garde taste making nautical statements wherever in the world it docks, recounted Scheffler. The completed awe-inspiring 440-foot, seven-deck serene certainly showcased extraordinary spaces like indulgent 70-foot wide owner's suite equipped with dramatic views out its outdoor bathtub, heated swimming pool with turquoise neon-lit stairs descending into a wild underwater disco lounge, quickly converting into a private cinema come midnight. 
This astonishing over-the-top aquatic palace instantly caught the eye of an even wealthier younger tycoon, Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who acquired Serene in 2015 for an alleged $500 million dollar while docked on the French Riviera for yearly maintenance overhaul. Still in his late twenties, controlling his kingdom's oil-fueled billions, ambitious Prince MBS operates on a scale unfamiliar to rival corporations twice his age. He saw the ultra-unique Serene as an ideal extension of his expanding portfolio of foreign luxury properties like the $500 million Chateau Louis Thor Saïs. After extensive upgrades, Serene now boasts of wine cellars with rare vintages and dedicates an entire deck for a lavish Arab Majlis-style lounge for the price's inner circle to puff premium Gitani's cigarettes while sealing multi-billion defense deals and energy investments guaranteed to keep global influence soaring for decades ahead. Crew headcount swelled to over 60 refinery and hospitality veterans poached from five-star hotels who handle every passenger demand round the clock while cruising between between Monaco and Turkish Riviera hotspots, favored by the young Saudi royal who jets in via his brand new $500 million flying palace, a customized Airbus A320. Serene's endless on-demand guest pampering budget now likely matches yearly healthcare expenditures of a small developing nation, such as the dizzying scale of her uber-wealthy owner for whom such floating palaces typify expenditures expected for retaining power. 12. Lotus. Flamboyant British billionaire Sir Jim Ratcliffe has enjoyed a meteoric rags to riches roller coaster corporate journey to eventually emerge as UK's wealthiest business captain with a net worth estimated by Forbes at $15 billion, stemming from his globe trotting chemicals Colossus Ineos Empire, with 45,000 employees across 54 countries. A lifelong passionate sailing hobbyist who frequently competes in elite racing leagues, pitting extreme performance catamarans against forces of nature across our planet's most treacherous waters. JR commissioned German custom yacht specialist Nobiskrug to design a radically unique super yacht envisioned from a napkin sketch conceived over one fine evening mulling about after too many Glenmorangie whiskies with his privileged Monaco circle. This ambitious brief sought blending aviation slash F, one subjects with nautical science culminating in a spherical multi-deck space yacht shape never constructed before allowing maximizing interior volume, unlike bulky conventional vessels limited by rectangular hulls. Construction started in 2013 on the specially dry-docked Sailing Yacht A platform at Nobiskrug's German Kiel Super Shipyard facility, using million-piece 3D jigsaw puzzle like welded aluminium sheets with final assembly requiring cutting away entire temporary surrounding retaining scaffolding for the bizarre finished product to be extricated out successfully, reminiscent of ancient Egyptian pyramid mysteries. Launched in 2014 as Motor Yacht Lotus, this radical 350 foot, 1600 ton, gently smiling metallic orb resembling a fragile flower finally fulfilled its owner's demanding brief for a hospitality showcase at sea, measuring up with his sprawling billionaire mansions ashore across Europe. We deliberately named her Lotus after the pure and perfect aquatic flower held divine in Buddhist traditions to symbolize harmonic ambitions within environment and self through purity of purpose values I resonate with, explained Ratcliffe speaking at the glittering handover. The three spherical decks nested one atop another, like petals provide almost double volume compared to normal yachts enabling much more expansive guest capacity and spatial flexibility accommodating 16 VIP guests easily with abundant customized Portuguese handcrafted furniture appointed across eight elite suites. Despite its avant-garde exterior, Lotus incorporates extensive eco-friendly engineering, including low-emission hybrid diesel, electric propellers, and control systems governing energy conservation, while maintaining top speeds of 20 knots, even in adverse conditions. 11. Topaz When the stunning $527 million Topaz splashed out after four years secretive construction in 2012 by renowned German superyacht specialist Lursen Werft, also responsible for the N-degree one 
ranked Giga Yacht Azam, stunned yacht spotters and spy agencies speculate wildly about her deeply mysterious Middle Eastern owner, who contracted this impressive strident blue hull to 482 footer longer than football field outclassing petite cruise ships. Even veteran maritime journalists were left clueless assessing confusing clues. Dimensions rivaled 1980s Navy frigates. Armored sides hinted at billionaire or even royals grade security consciousness. Most intriguing was the aggressively sleek low radar profile feel, despite its massive size, coupled with antennas resembling encrypted satellite comms fit for intelligence vessels. Topaz posed a true conundrum. Who is the shadowy figure behind her, requiring such fortress-grade opulence and technology on board? The big reveal came only on that sunny April morning in 2012 when UAE president and ruler of vast oil-rich Abu Dhabi Emirates Sheikh Khalifa casually stepped off this resplendent vessel moored along Gibraltar, having discreetly sailed overnight from Gulf for getting marine compliance certificates before entering British domain. Now gobsmacked naval experts had to grudgingly agree, maybe select owners indeed justify billion-dollar floating fortresses costing fraction of a destroyer, but carrying equally sophisticated surveillance and communication safeguards ready to activate discreetly upon approaching threats. After all, UAE leadership led by Sheikh Khalifa, oversee world's largest sovereign wealth fund estimated at staggering $3 trillion dollars, accrued from 50 years of exporting the black gold non-stop from sprawl desert derricks to fastest growing Asian economies on the other side of the planet. The two mind-boggling multi-story owner Sweets Dwarf even the enormous VIP guest penthouses spanning over a deck each. It resembles a floating six-star resort with over 90 full-time crew proficiently handling extensive logistical and hospitality operations flawlessly. They're trained at the best European hospitality schools before getting cherry-picked to serve aboard Topaz Flagstaff vessel. The president's main state business travel conveyance packed with two boardrooms, luxe leather reclining seat theater, live satellite teleconference auditoriums, and enough electronic encryption power to communicate securely real-time across the planet. Little surprise she has become globe-trotting encrypted aquatic command center for the visionary leader's continuing royal legacy, steering his resource-wealthy emirate firmly forward in the direction of education, opportunity, and stability for citizens devoid of religious turmoil, frequently afflicting regional peers. 10. Lady Moura when Saudi nouveau rich entrepreneur Nasser Al Rashid decided to treat himself to an outrageously lavish $100 million floating private retreat in early 1990s as reward for banking fortunes made, Lady Mora was specially conceived to embody a maritime palace blending business venue with leisure escapes whenever required. Built across four years by leading German shipyard Blohm plus Voss, the Finnish 344-foot Lady Mora evolved into a gleaming tri-deck mansion yacht befitting royalty herself. Gleaming white superstructure paired with metallic blue underworks struck a balance between welcoming charm and stable seaworthiness verified already during the initial Atlantic transfer voyage to the shimmering French Riviera, where she maintained home birthing location. Interiors awoke a vision combining old-world opulence with contemporary accents. Walking on shiny Versace mosaic inlaid floors, touching exotic Indian rosewood walls and lounging on Dior floral embroidery deck chairs anchored Lady Mora ambiance between classic affluence and current era. The owner deck housed a lavish master suite for NASA spanning full width. This capacious sanctum provided 180-degree floor-to-ceiling vistas, an office, his, her en-suites finished in rare Italian marbles and eclectic furniture, like a carved jade handcrafted over five years by a Tibetan monk. Seeking outlets to channel excess energies, active businessman Nasser included unusual features too, like a professional tennis court at Stern, for getting quick matches against VIP guests or family, and even a regulation squash play zone squeezed in below forward levels. Reportedly, Monte Carlo's reigning champion has played here before judging by gold cups displayed in the lounge. But the Pièce de Résistance Award goes to hydraulically activated transforming aft deck mechanism. On command, a 20 25-foot wide terrace expands directly above waves, becoming an impromptu sunset patio, setting ideal for hosting mesmerizing candlelight suppers, literally on lapping sea complemented by live classical quartets playing favorite Strauss waltzes. 
This instantly impressive engineering earned Lady Mora recognition as decades most innovative yacht from Western designers and clientele alike, spellbound by expanding possibilities. Initially, everything frothed perfectly, hosting celebrity parties and corporate gatherings, earning much famed publicity that delighted the image conscious owner. Alas, allegations soon emerged over steamy affairs conducted openly on board whenever no questions asked friends used the yacht for trysts, souring previously harmonious family cruise outings. Lawyers finally settled a rancorous $100 million divorce by 2006 dividing assets. Charter management thankfully brought better karma, focusing extensive yachting credentials and ample 85-person hospitality capacity on elite tourist clients seeking minded venues rivaling boutique seafront resorts. 9. Radiant. If any place K be credited for condensing entrepreneurs with flashy reputations for prolific accumulation of wealth in remarkably short time challenging even Russian oligarchs, it's the Middle East Emirates awash in oceans of easy oil money sheltering industrial czars like UAE's Al Habtor Group Chairman Khalaf Al Habtor, emblematic of uninhibited nursing possible thanks to royal family ties and visionary construction empire possessing global tentacles today. Seeking grander acquisition crown his soaring financial achievements, Al Habtor challenged renowned German yacht makers Nobiskrug to deliver a custom maritime showcase marrying futuristic form with billionaire-worthy entertainment functionality like onboard discotheque, reflecting his flamboyant personality known for enjoying star-studded entourages on land already. This unusually demanding brief intended synthesizing aircraft trademarks into radical aquatic lines, simultaneously evoking visual awe and stability, normally contrary to standard nautical engineering. Additionally, Mega Dimensions sought allowing over dozen VIP sleeping suites, helipad, swimming pool, full-service spa, plus plenty of open event deck space hosting extravagant parties even while sailing high seas. Nobiskrug accepted the gauntlet, taking five daunting years melding extreme shapes meeting tough maritime tests into 58,000-ton radiant superyacht emerging in 2013 like a floating private resort that outclassed seafaring expectations immediately thanks. Dazzling sci-fi inspired brilliant metallic blue luminous graphics never utilized underwater, making her look like alien spacecraft landed in Arabian Gulf waters. The glowing angular silhouette belying an enormous 4,516 GT volume rivaling a small cruise ship allows 20 guests easily across 10 upper suites, supported by 50 live-in crew personnel, operating this seven-star hotel complex round the clock. Nestled within partition decks, one discovers every essential luxury touch like a private Dolby Atmos cinema theater. Fully equipped spa gymnasium by Hungarian wellness experts, 20-meter pool with an inbuilt grotto and jacuzzi, walk-in fine wine cellar, and aft helicopter rooftop landing pad for quick owner arrivals. Since its maiden voyage along the French coast outpacing other yachts in Monaco Harbor while representing the biggest vessel from the Middle East, the pioneering trailblazer now named Radiant continues making waves anchoring off billionaire playgrounds like St. Baths, where the Al Habtor's celebrity entourage continues 24-7 entertainment on floating construction surfaces. Other shipbuilders can merely envy from afar for decades more thanks her flamboyant owners who dared imagination frontiers by bankrolling beautiful behemoths emerging from drawing boards. 8. Yas Super Yacht While most ultra-high net worth royals and rulers across the oil-rich Middle East satiate limitless egos by buying outrageously extravagant luxury mega yachts, sometimes exceeding half a billion dollars, one visionary leader renowned for integrity, H.H. Sheikh Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan of the UAE royal family, swam against such flashy trends by maintaining focused governance and esteemed stature, shunning garish displays, uncommon in wisdom for someone controlling key foreign office. Approaching his 50th jubilee seeking a unique aquatic gift idea, special approvals granted commissioning a $300 million futuristic flagship cruiser christened 495-foot, 8-decks Yas. Named after the spectacular Yas Island F1 racing circuit, he oversees which routinely attracts celebrity race car drivers and their fancy motor yachts from around the globe. 
built locally in Abu Dhabi by premier boatmakers under his discretion beyond typical ostentatious Middle East motifs, Yas pioneered high-tech audiovisual cocooning across elite owner suites thanks to innovative patented materials and retractable balcony shells allowing undisturbed oceanic vistas along year-round journeys hosting envoys, energy corporates, and close confidants away from prying media glare. Below the serene Lux residences, a giant underwater grotto nightclub converts into a private Dolby Atmos theater. Olympic-length pool with shimmering mosaic tilework brings Monaco grand feel while well-well-equipped gym, spa relaxation zones, twin helipads, and hidden security counter surveillance gear add practical elements securing smooth charter operations anywhere required. When custom hydraulic platforms extend stabilizing superstructure directly overhead, sunbathing beachgoers enjoying Yas hospitality off Monaco. One realizes why such clean, uncompromising aquatic craft respectfully reflects multifaceted owners conducting global transactions from public stages while nurturing family bonds privately without garish display often expected in these parts. Perhaps most remarkably, 25 years hence Sheikh Hamdan, the mega-wealthy UAE statesman, retains supreme modesty rarely publicized owing to understated wisdom, balancing immense power and influence worldwide. 7. Smeralda Emerging suddenly from gritty post-USSR economic chaos into national stardom helming India's most flamboyant corporate conglomerate plus swashbuckling force Formula One squad, liquor and aviation baron Vijay Malia, aggressively acquired assets worldwide further bolstering his meteoric, king of good times billionaire reputation and lavish lifestyle covering celebrity-filled parties on Roman Abramovich superyachts. Seeking a worthy aquatic crown becoming his empire's mascot while making global lifestyle statements, Malia acquired Germany custom-designed Smeralda superyacht in 2006 reported $120 million amidst media frenzy eyeing rising business figures who boasted throwing most spectacular private events. Built by famed Hanseatic Marine incorporating complex curves lowering radar profile, 247-foot Smeralda allows discerning owners sizable hospitality capacity for 12 overnight guests, helipad, swimming pool and plethora aquatic recreation facilities ensuring fun enjoyment cruising remote archipelago yet compact enough harboring easily alongside private Caribbean islands Malia also owned hosting legendary Bollywood-filled soirees, steep annual operating costs crossing $10 million including extensive maintenance, large international crew salaries and marina docking fees seemed perfectly affordable then for an ambitious billionaire ranking among India Inc's most admired, occupying congenial political orbit and making global power moves like sponsoring Lewis Hamilton's championship winning Formula One team now including his prized Smeralda superyacht harbored along the French Riviera, but suddenly precariously threatened spectre asset seizure unless outstanding Indian debts repaid, forcing Malia reluctantly consider auctioning her to raise emergency capital unless White Knight bidder emerges restoring former glory. Her specially designed interiors by French craftsman Noves using precious Indian rosewoods still retain exquisite pedigree, although jalopy comparisons certainly stink badly there. Some solace knowing handfuls of global celebrity clients and charter agencies express seven-figure purchase interests for right provenance. This epic rise and fall aquatic saga continues as both former billionaire and matching personal superyacht he christened cross tumultuous financial waters, hoping karma destiny ahead. 6. Lady Haya As Prime Minister and Vice President guiding Dubai's explosive prosperity for two decades, HH Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum retains meticulously balanced equilibrium between spearheading further audacious development mega projects like ultra luxurious Palm Island resort chains, transformative global logistics, giant DP world and dozens of aviation technology unicorns versus nurturing cultural continuity retaining core Islamic values binding Emirati citizens despite relentless tidal waves of foreigners now outnumbering native population 9 to 1. Such immense pressures require outlets granting periodic privacy interludes far from omnipresent media glare and dozens perpetual crises requiring firm decisions daily so, the Sheikh maintains a fleet of custom-built mega-yachts moored along his burgeoning realm, serving both recreational family escapes and diplomatic hosting beyond the spotlight. 
Launched in Italian Ferretti shipyards, 200-foot Lady Haya was christened after the Sheikh's most famous daughter accomplished British Olympic equestrian medal contender and former Jordanian Princess H. H. Haya Bint Al Hussein before returning UAE under his custody post, bitter divorce. The sleek midnight blue hulled vessel with radar arches hint at a more adventurous outdoorsy personality rather than decor gaudiness expected of some neighbors. Hand-finished interiors abundantly apply rare quilted mahogany wood walls and bespoke hand-tufted wool carpeting lacing floors, absorbing sound and adding plush comfort for 14 elites overnight across six suites named after luminaries like Sinbad. Crew includes private butlers, executive chefs and therapists delighting every wish 24 sevenths during extended voyages overseas. Masterful narrow 1.7-meter hull draft design allows easy access to 99 pocket coves and atolls favored across Seychelles archipelago for observing rare hawksbill turtles hatching under moonlit darkness. After sumptuous fare on deck prepared al fresco, unwind inside the dedicated Dolby Atmos Cinema Lounge, previewing pre-release Arabian culture films and documentaries. When feeling lazy, a personal fitness coach devises aquatic aerobics routines exercised while admiring ever-changing scenery through floor-ceiling gym windows. If passion still flows post 60 years since learning ancient Bedouin poetry and teenage falconry across desert mesas, release magnificent peregrine from below deck aviary for exhilarating 500 km at jar stoops above soaring waves sighting wild sooty falcons migrating down madagascar at dusk during this surreal oceanic safari cohabitation 5. Almirkab. when even a 250 million dollars dollar budget seems like relative pittance that's when middle east mega vips summon renowned german super yacht artisans lursen to materialize outrageously opulent nautical ambitions without constraint. Exactly the lofty brief that Qatari natural gas and construction magnate Sheikh Hamad bin Jassim bin Jabbar Al Thani, or HBJ for short, issued in 2007 for engineering a futuristic private floating palace flaunting size and amenities exceeding anything built previously for regional royalty known coveting such bespoke aquatic status symbols. Five years in the making across dedicated secured dry docks, the awe-inspiring completed 436-foot, three-deck-tall Mirkab emerges overshadowing almost everything else afloat on sea. Thanks subtle yet imposing smoked metallic charcoal grey hull silhouette, effortlessly deceiving approaching gawkers into severely underestimating her enormous internal volume inside until experiencing the sheer scale personally. Yet the jaw drops manifest upon entering via retractable marina stairways into vertigo-inducing vistas with central staircase winding under chandelier clusters bigger than master bedrooms, walls finished by 15,000 square feet, rare Macassar ebony inlaid Italian marbles, remote-controlled cinema theater and helipad hangar compressed in between. The upper owner penthouse spans three levels itself, allowing panoramic views across the ocean from bedside plus a private heated pool courtside in case you prefer closer dips. Overall 16 ultra-luxury VIP guest cabins scattered within plus 5 star crew quarters for 35 personnel delivering quintessential Arabian hospitality standards expected aboard. Round-the-clock engineering teams monitor Alice supercomputers overseeing critical alarm sensors, power redundancies, and propulsion along triple Seakeeper gyroscopes delivering the smoothest possible maritime experience. Easily accommodating 24 high-profile billionaires thanks to extensive amenities rivaling boutique hotels, Mirkab clinched world's best super yacht honors for three consecutive years at Monaco Yacht Show, wowing elite visitors who could only daydream its interiors so far. So why would HBJ consider selling his pride, despite customizable options still left? Well, the tempestuous fast-changing allegiances and fortunes in the mysterious Middle East Peninsula delivered him an abrupt reality check as well. Warning no billion dollar asset remains permanently guaranteed the higher one climbs. 4. Polaris from humble beginnings, struggling through childhood dyslexia towards London business school education and working first sales job in grim northern industrial estates, British self-made entrepreneur billionaire Sir Jim Ratcliffe has enjoyed an extraordinary corporate journey founding petrochemicals maker Ineos from scratch into $60 billion global empire within two decades through legendary productivity innovation and strategic genius before emerging on very pinnacle of success. 
having built robust businesses producing everything from lubricants to plastics serving 52 countries, JR can finally indulge wildly expensive passion pursuits like competitive sailing pitting extreme performance catamarans against forces of nature across our planet's most treacherous ocean racing events for ultra-rich owners which provide unmatched soul communing with raw elements and adventure. So acquiring the storied 115-meter Lursen built Polaris Mega Yacht for a reported 115 million euros from famous oligarch Roman Abramovich aligns perfectly for someone ranked most successful British industrialist seeking new lifestyle challenges beyond the boardroom. This pedigreed vessel launched in 2004 already pioneered extensive noise reduction and emissions cutting solutions paired with bold forward views through an extra wide exterior glass wall, ushering abundant sunlight across Polaris's sophisticated lounges and aristocratic staterooms fit for royalty like King Juan Carlos, who reportedly vacationed here before. Since 2015 handover, the new owner invested Euro 20 plus million more retrofitting advanced hybrid Azipod propulsion, onboard environmental footprint analysis labs and sweeping an eco-friendly refresh across interior pallets, emphasizing renewable bamboo woods near ultrasonic whale calming bow sculpture titled Adrift, handcrafted by Aboriginal artist Ben Quilty, highlighting marine pollution. Refitted Polaris also welcomes scientific expeditions where specialist equipment analyses coral shelf life across Caribbean or tests rotating turbine models generating electricity underwater without disturbing surrounding habitats, fusing leisure, eco-luxury and responsibility expected from high-achieving yet conscious owners. Midnight Beach Gala dinners may find Sir Jim ambling into the sea-facing glass-walled owner spa section to welcome his next aspiring entrepreneur guest while juggling phone calls coordinating rapid India JV acquisition completion before reclining back to witness romantic fireworks overhead while raising a toast celebrating the Armenian twins Golbenkian's 160th birthday, whose enduring legacy and philanthropy continues motivating this self-made British billionaire even more. 3. Al Said The People's Pearl Al Said perfectly personifies such endearing titles endowed by Omani citizens towards their benevolent former monarch, Sultan Qaboos bin Said Al Said, whose balanced wisdom shepherded a reluctant medieval Arab nation into tolerant prosperity over 50 remarkable years until passing away aged 79. Part Renaissance man, equally conversant composing operatic symphonies and co-designing postmodern architecture, part regional geopolitical veteran adept neutralizing adversities through adroit diplomacy. The beloved Sultan understood global engagements hosting envoys or reconciling tribal rulers aboard a secure mobile headquarters allows effective resolutions impossible on land. So in 2007, Lursen Shipyards received surreal $300 million royal decree for engineering his ultimate aquatic dream palace, eclipsing anything existing in privacy, technology and hospitality to cement futuristic legacy as the father of Oman. Launched in 2013 after intensive planning, the completed 160-meter 10,000 GRT flagship Al Said elegantly flows sporting a futuristic flared bow, unlike anything previously created by yacht designers. While harmonizing abundant golden teak trimmings and arabesque decorative accents displaying indigenous cultural affinities, Inside marvels refracted by crystal staircases descending into concert halls and state banquet lounges outclassing even grand European opera houses in proportions. Eight decks house two dozen VIP suites, executive offices directly wired into Parliament headquarters on shore, plus an entire deck serving as the Royal Concert Hall. Lavish decor by French interior designer Christian Liegre merges postmodern minimalism cocooning guests like being encamped inside the magnificent Royal Opera House Muscat itself. Advanced communications link encrypted satellites for constant secure links, handling delicate government negotiations discreetly away from digital intrusions while floating in international waters. Additional safety provisions include underwater remote piloted spy subs, heat sensing cameras, missile warnings, and four standby interceptor boats thwarting piracy or terrorist threats given regional instability. Vital aspects for visiting ministers. Truly, Al Said remains the floating crown jewel and secure musical haven for promoting future national harmony. 
Now piloted by 58-year-old successor, Sultan Haytham pledged furthering artistic tolerance causes immortalized by the inspiring father of Oman and living on through their epic pearl namesake. 2. Al Salama when your family claims rulership legacy across the world's most oil-rich desert expenses for nearly a century since epic camel cavalry victory against Ottoman Empire, accustomed extreme luxuries exclusively accessible to current monarchs seem normal entitlements expanding with each succession. So in 1999, when Saudi Arabia's elder crown prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz sought a worthy royal megayacht befitting his noble lineage, no expense was spared on this $200 million floating palace taking half a decade to construct. Eventually emerging as the 88-meter, 8,000-ton displacement Al Salama super yacht, built German specialists HDW fusing state-of-the-art more expected aboard cruise liners, including twin helipads, internal swimming pools, concert hall, luxury hospital, gymnasium, spa, and elegantly furnished staterooms worthy receiving visiting dignitaries across their expanding sphere of influence. Thanks to the immense volume, eight decks contain VIP suites hosting four dozen elites supported by 100 live-in crew radiating quintessential Arabic hospitality towards guests accustomed to being treated like royalty back home. After feasting culinary masterpieces inside dual-story banquet halls, while gently cruising down the French Riviera viewed through floor-to-ceiling vista windows, upper lounges, Access cultured musical soirees on the aft open deck performed by international virtuosos or catch the latest Hollywood entertainment inside Dolby Atmos tiered theatres before retiring within lavish staterooms decorated exotic woods carved by Burmese monastery monks. Since the untimely passing of founding owner Crown Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz in 2011, his son Prince Khalid bin Sultan Al Saud inherited Al Salama legacy from father, transforming her even further into a technological marvel including latest satellite uplinks installed directly into operations center. Now, fully encrypted telepresence allows seamless secure discussions between royals relaxing a thousand miles away and management officials digitally teleported aboard reviewing classified briefings. Truly, Al Salama deserves the Arabic goddess title Soul of the Sea, floating discreetly onwards as the apex nautical heirloom symbolizing continuity of thousand-year generational Saudi sovereignty rule. 1. Azam. Which Middle East Petro King could commission the world's biggest private giggy act ever? When the unwritten dare was issued around 2010, UAE President Sheikh Khalifa discreetly summoned his key sovereign wealth fund principality teammate. Time had come demonstrating not just engineering but geopolitical ambitions beyond scale through an outrageous 500 plus foot, 94000 horsepower nautical flagship, capable of circumnavigating the planet non stop, showcasing breathtaking Arabic traditions underwater while outpacing all rivals above by 10 knots. Five years, 10,000 expert specialists, and over $600 million dollars later, unprecedented audacious vision transmuted into steel reality through Azam as she powerfully emerged in 2013 from Lursen's super shipyard dry docks, smashing existing records as the largest, fastest personal superyacht ever at 590 feet and 35 mph, yet reflecting subdued UAE ideals rather than blinding bling. Her extensive silk fabric hand loomed interiors required dedicated New Zealand lakeside village working round the clock, translating intricate arabesque patterns into massive ceiling drapes and wall tapestries for the grand ballrooms. Five dozen ultra-luxury suites including remote royals quarters with suspended ragadan mother of pearl chandelier centerpiece. Twin high-power diesel engines generating blistering 94000 horsepower, allowing 30-plus knot pace even during extended voyages by this aquatic space scraper, longer than historic Titanic and heavier than America's WW2 Iowa battleships, albeit oozing just under 5000 GRT weight thanks extensive carbon composite hull cladding technology adapted from racing yachts. 
Truly, Azam represents visionary President Sheikh Khalifa's unwavering lifelong commitment modernizing his emirate from desert pearling outpost towards cutting-edge sustainable aerospace technology global oasis capped by this floating steel pinnacle crown, materializing technical imagination into an unbeatable elite refuge. Rival regional rulers now forced to respond ever bigger, just retaining parity in the glittery gigayakt. My boat is longer than yours, stakes. Although another dollar billion asking frightens all but royal dynasties controlling trillion dollar assets.